Hi and welcome to 3 Minute Maths. In this particular video, this is the second video on a series on solving linear equations. What we mean by that is getting a value of x when we're given an equation. So this particular one, we've got in this particular case brackets and letters on both sides. So it looks a little bit uh, tricky when you first see it, but you've got something like this. Okay, and that's going to equal 4, 5y minus 4. Okay, and what we're going to do is try to find a value of y to make sure that this is absolutely correct because we're talking about algebra. And algebra is all about imbalance. So if we look at that, it's actually originally it was algebra. Okay, and, and algebra means imbalance. And what we're going to do is work down the page around the equal sign. So the first thing that we have to do is get rid of these brackets. So I've got 9 multiplied by the term in the bracket. So in that case I need to get rid of it by multiplying out. So 9 times 2y is 18y and 9 times minus 1 is minus 9. On the other side I've got exactly the same. So I've got 4 times 5y is 20y and then 4 times minus 4 is minus 16. Okay, hope you can see that. Okay, so I've got a situation now where I've got rid of the brackets but I still need to make sure I get my y's on one side and my numbers on the other. There's actually two ways that you can do this um, and I'm going to go the first way on this video and then in the next video on the playlist I'm going to do it slightly differently. So on this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 20y from both sides because what I've decided is I want to make sure I get numbers on this side, letter on this side. So if I do that I get 18y minus 20 is minus 2y, still got my minus 9. And on this side I get nothing, 20y minus 20y means nothing and I've got minus 16. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I've still got minus 2y on this side but I'm going to add 9 to both sides. Okay, well if I add 9 to both sides I get rid of this and on this side I get a value of minus 7. Okay, so minus 2y times y I'm going to divide both sides by minus 2, divide by minus 2 because I need to cancel this one out so it's going to give me y. And on this side I've got effectively minus 7 divided by minus 2. Well a minus divided by minus is a positive so that's going to be 7 over 2. If you prefer I can make that 3 and a half. So in other words in this equation y equals 7 over 2 or 3 and a half or 3.5. I hope that's been okay. Please do have a look at the next video in the playlist. I'm going to address exactly the same um, question but I'm going to do it slightly differently. I look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.